Okay, so we have negative two and one quarter times one and three quarters minus five and a half. And as we discussed, we have brackets, so we need to simplify what's inside the bracket. And that's a subtraction expression. Okay, so we're going to leave this for now, negative two and a quarter. We're going to multiply it by whatever the solution is to one and three quarters, take away five and a half. How many of you turned this into an improper fraction? Okay, so what did you get? Seven over four minus? Eleven over two. Good. And is there a, what is the lowest common denominator? Four. Okay, so we're going to multiply this by two. Again, this is just one way to do this. So we have negative two and a quarter times, let's rewrite this with the common denominator, seven over four minus 22 over four. Okay, now can we subtract this? Yes. Okay, so negative two and a quarter times, what's the solution to seven over four minus 22 over four? Yep. Negative 15 over 4. Good. Okay, so did everyone get that part correct? Now we're multiplying fractions. So what should we do with our first term? What should we, how should we rewrite that as what? Okay, so we need to turn this into an improper fraction. Okay, so what is negative 2 and 1 quarter as an improper fraction? Yes? Negative 9 over 4. Negative 9 over 4. Good. And how did you get that? You did... Good. We don't include the negative sign. We leave that. And then we add 1. So 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. Good. Now we're going to multiply this by negative 15 over 4. Just by looking at this right now, is your final answer going to be negative or positive? Positive. Good. We have two negatives. Now to multiply fractions, multiply the numerators. What's negative 9 times negative 15? 135. And we need to multiply the denominators. 4 times 4 is? 16. Perfect. OK, so what I want you to do right now, then you're going to work on how much time do we have? We have about half an hour. You're going to work on the questions from 1.5. I did write on the board that you're going to be having an EQAO assignment. That's going to be due next Friday, so I'm giving you a whole week. You don't have to. Right now, you should be working on 1.5. You can work on that maybe a little bit every night if you want to work on it on the weekend. It's not very long, but it is numeracy skills. Okay? There are two pages of multiple choice. You're going to be getting an EQO assignment every chapter, okay? There's four open response questions. You may have done some of these in summer school, actually. Does anyone remember yeah. seeing this? Good. So you can repeat it with me. Some of it has to do with percentage. I know we haven't talked about percent yet. Yes, this is take home, okay? A lot of it is grade eight stuff. So some of it I didn't actually teach you like the percent, but if you were in summer school, you did it. Some of it you might need to go back and review from grade eight. I do have videos on percent if you wanna go and watch them. So again, this is out of 30. EQO assignments count the same as a test, okay? I'll accept it's take home you can get help. So put these away for now, and I want you working on 1.5 textbook questions. What are they? Paige, who has their homework log?
What's the date today? 18th? 